Well, Dick, I, I, I guess you're going to be 80 years old or already years old today, and I'm going to be calling you, but I just wanted you to know that I bet if you'd, uh, if you'd known you were going to get to be 80 years old, you would have taken better care of yourself. Uh, I, uh, I'm so glad that, that you're still with us and uh, that we're still alive and kicking. It's, uh, it's been a long, hard road, but you've, uh, you've done so much in your lifetime, and you have so much to be proud of. And I hope you are proud of yourself this 80th birthday, because even attaining 80 years is a, is a great milestone. Uh, Dick, I can, can't tell you how much I've enjoyed working with you over the years and how much you've uh, meant to me as a, as a friend and as a, a human being and as a, as a performer. Uh, you've done your job with, with uh, stalwart uh, excellence in everything you've ever attempted. And, of course, there's nobody in the world that's ever picked up a whip that's ever done any better with it than you have. Uh, witness the fact that for many years I let you take cigarettes out of my mouth with your whip at 20 feet away and you never once touched me. So uh, that's, uh, that, that in itself is remarkable. I never had a doubt that you'd, you'd get the cigarette every time. I had total confidence in you and I still do. Uh, you were a wonderful stunt man and a wonderful stunt coordinator and uh, you uh, you, you, when you had a chance to perform, you performed very, very well. And uh, I'm proud to be your friend, and I hope you'll last another 20, 30 years. So uh, keep the good thought, and I'll be talking to you on the phone. Love you, Dick.